Question 5 or 6. 16 marks plus 4 marks for SPAG. Choose just one of them, but read both to decide which you think you can talk about in more detail. The questions are all arranged the same way. A quote, which is an opinion on something. Then the same text every time. How far do you agree? Explain your answer. This is an essay question asking for judgment. You need an introduction. You need three, or if you think you have time, four PEE paragraphs, similar to how you wrote them in question four. And you need a conclusion. My goodness, you need a conclusion. It is the most important paragraph. Do not end the essay without one. I know it's tiring. I know you spent ages writing the rest of the essay. But this is the most important part. 10 marks out of the 16 are for explanation. And most of that comes from the conclusion. If you're running out of time at the end of the exam, you should stop writing the main paragraphs and skip to the conclusion. Or, here's an idea. Start your exam with this question and then go back and do the others. Up to you, but write that conclusion. The intro needs a sentence of background about the question's topic and for you to address the question. For more information about PEE paragraphs, go back to my advice on question 4. Let's just spend some time now on what a good conclusion looks like. You should summarise the counter-arguments without just writing a list, then dismiss them and end very clearly on the main argument you made in your essay. No sitting on the fence saying it's a bit of this and a bit of that. It's always a bit of this and a bit of that. Examiners want to see you stick your neck out with an actual point of view. This is the most important question in the exam and you should spend no less than 23 minutes on it. Pause the video and read my example conclusion. See if you can spot how I summarise and dismiss the counter-arguments and end on a definitive opinion.